This video is on anxiety and the parts of the brain that are being activated when we're anxious and also why we stress things like meditation and use techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy to treat anxiety. So to start off with, when we look at the brain, the occipital lobe is in charge of our sight and the temporal lobe is in charge of sound. And so the limbic system, which is back here in the primitive part of our brain, that's in charge of our emotions. And part of the limbic system is something called the amygdala. So the amygdala is our fear center part of the brain. And that was developed biologically as a survival mechanism. So that's when we go into our fight, flight, or freeze response and when we feel threatened everything else shuts down and this amygdala is highly activated to protect us so the other part of the brain that's important to think about is our hippocampus that's also part of the limbic system and that is our memory center of the brain so whenever we are in a state where we're panicked based on something that's happened in the past that's what's being activated there so when we're looking at meditation and cognitive behavioral therapy, what we're doing is we're actually trying to activate the prefrontal cortex, which is in the front of the brain. And that is more developed and it's more of our executive functioning where we can think through things, where we give meaning to experiences. And so when we're dealing with meditation and cognitive behavioral therapy, what we're doing is we're trying to retrain the brain when it comes to giving meaning to specific data or external stimuli or things that are happening around us. So I hope that this is helpful and let me know if you have questions and I'll see you guys next time.